Hi guys, it's Tiffany here with the Outlandish Mama. Um, first and foremost, if you hear my little one in the background talking or banging on stuff, please don't mind him. He's a rambunctious little one-year-old, so. Um, I'm making a video for you today because um, there have been some questions on how to get your patterns into the Silhouette Studio. So I'm going to show you the steps that I take. Um, to show you how to import it and also just to drag and drop. Now, sometimes if you're like on a Mac computer, I have a PC, so sometimes if you're on a Mac, it doesn't always um, drag and drop, so I'm going to give you the alternative way. Now, the site that I'm on right here is pixelscrapper.com. I love this site. I pay, I think it's $20 a month. But you get unlimited downloads for commercial use. It comes with the commercial use license. To me, it's a big investment because, um, say, like if you're selling something um, that needs patterns or, or whatever, you're, you could still make money on it. $20 really isn't that bad. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to pick this background right here. I think it's super cute, and it's um, it'll go with a couple page flags that I want to make for my niece next month because her birthday's next month, and she's very big into like pink and purples and stuff. So <clears throat> we're just gonna download it here, and it's gonna go directly into my downloads file. Um, which is right there, as you can see. Now, there's a couple ways that you can do this. The first way is by just dragging and dropping. And what that does, I mean, you can just simply click it and drag it over here. It'll say move. Or you can drag it over here to my patterns or my clip art. Really, it doesn't matter. If it'll, if you can drag and drop it, then that's awesome. That's the easiest, simplest way to do it. Another way to do it, if you cannot drag and drop, is you go up here to Files, and you go down to Import, and then Import into Library, and go to your Downloads file. Now, um, right here, I always change the graphics file because sometimes people put it as like uh, Adobe um, or something else that you can't really find so I always go to all files that way it shows everything that I have in that file folder and then find as you can see it's loading it's being a pain right here Click on it, hit OK, and when it downloads, it's going to go into my own designs right here. I don't like it in my own designs because it's a pattern, so I like to put it into my patterns. And as you can see, after I put it into my patterns, um, I believe they're in alphabetical order, so right there it was, right here. I do have two copies because I, I did show you how to um, drag and drop the this one before so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete one copy and I didn't realize I had a copy of that one either so um, I hope that helped you can also rename it if you look over here to edit properties you can rename it you can put keywords in there like you can add a keyword and I'll just put plaid you can do description, the artist, and you can also do and put this into um, a category. Now, I'll probably just put it into regular cut. Um, or actually, I won't even do a category, and I'll just hit close. So, I hope that helped. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or there's something else that you want to see or that you want to know, just send me a message and let me know. I hope this guy's this helps.